BEV Consortium was entrusted with the building of the Malta North Mechanical and Biological Treatment. Whereas landfilling represents the least favourable option for waste management, the Mechanical and Biological Treatment Plant employs mechanical and biological processes to recover material for recycling or RDF production, produce compost-like material and generate clean energy from otherwise useless waste. The process may look as though magical or coincidental, but it is fruit of thorough research and the complex development made possible through the joint cooperation of Vassalo Builders Limited from Malta, Efesec from Portugal and BTA International from Germany. Using cutting-edge technology and state-of-the-art infrastructure, the facility situated within the Magtab environmental complex in Malta is split into two main departments the mechanical treatment plant and the anaerobic digestion plant and treats domestic waste known as municipal solid waste, solid and liquid manure and bulky waste. Let's take a look at the process that each type of waste undergoes as it transforms itself from waste to clean energy. The treatment of bulky waste. Once it arrives at the plant, bulky waste is passed through a shredder and is separated with a drum screen densimetric and optical separation and ferrous separation into RDF, plastic, paper and ferrous metals. The rejects will be diverted to the landfill. The plant processes 47,000 tonnes per year in one shift. The treatment of municipal solid waste. The waste is gathered as domestic waste in a black bag and is brought into the plant's reception hall. This black bag enters the plant and undergoes what is referred to as mechanical pre-treatment, designed and assembled by Eversec. This automated pre-treatment consists of a bag opener, a drum screen, a vibrating screen, densimetric and optical separation, ferrous and non-ferrous separation. The plant processes 66,000 tonnes per year in one shift. The organic material is separated from recovered material such as plastics, paper, RDF, aluminium and metals and all the rejects will be disposed of in the landfill. The paper, plastic and RDF will be baled and wrapped. The organic fraction, still with a high content of impurities, is then further processed according to the BTA process in two steps. In the wet mechanic pretreatment, the organic material is dissolved while the remaining impurities are efficiently removed, thus obtaining a clean organic suspension. In the second step, the organic suspension is pumped to the anaerobic digestion, which is the core process for the biogas production. The anaerobic digestion step is carried out as a one-step digestion, carried out in the mesophilic range in two fully mixed reactors. Co-digestion of manure Every year, up to 34,000 tonnes of cattle and chicken manure and up to 5,000 tonnes of chicken dung are additionally received and pre-treated at the AD site before being co-digested with the organic suspension obtained from the MSW. Biogas valorization. The H2S content present in the raw produced biogas is removed at a desulfurization system after which the biogas is stored inside a gas holder. The biogas is also dried in order to decrease its relative humidity before going into the gensets. This biogas will be burned in two CHP units of 600 megawatts and 1200 megawatts in order to produce electricity which will then be injected into the national electrical grid. An emergency flare designed to burn the nominal biogas flow rate has also been installed. The CHP units will also be providing the required thermal energy to keep the temperature inside the digesters stable. Digestate valorization. A wet oxidation between the digestion and the solid state separation step has been integrated with smallest footprint to stabilize the digestate. A two-step solid liquid separation obtains a dewatered digestate used for landfill coverage. Process water management. A very efficient process water management is in place, minimizing the consumption of fresh water as well as the production of effluent. The effluent water is treated in an internal effluent treatment to achieve the necessary requirements that allow its transport to the municipal wastewater treatment facility. Transversal systems. All the electrical system and air exhaust system which undergoes a process of biofiltration were designed and assembled by Efesec. Each process taking place in this plant is impressed in its own right 
and is set to translate into great environmental and social benefits. The professional collaboration of the three partners, BTA International, FSEC and Vassallo Builders Limited, together with the leading and experience of WasteServe Malta, was a key for the successful design and construction of the Malta North Waste Treatment Facility. This particular plant will save a landfill volume of over 58,000 cubic meters each year and is expected to generate over 9 gigawatt hours per annum. To appreciate the significance of this, one can consider how a television rated at 100 watts utilizes 1 kilowatt hour when it operates for 10 hours straight. Together with this, the plant will reduce the carbon dioxide released into the air by 25,000 tons per annum. The expertise and techniques employed in this plant do not only offer numerous benefits to Maltese society, but are set to deliver any community who adopt its methods into the next generation of environmental excellence.